Hi friends, I welcome you all here at TNV Academy. In this session, we are going to talk about an international standard ISO 50001-2018. Let's start with subclause 6.1, actions to address risks and opportunities. The subclause 6.1.1 states that when planning for the energy management system, the organization must consider the issues referred to in subclause 4.1 and the requirements referred to in subclause 4.2 of the standard. Organization must also consider the review that the organization's activities and processes that can affect energy performance. As per this subclause, planning must be consistent with the energy policy and must lead to actions that result in continual improvement in energy performance. Subclause 6.1.1 specifies that the organization must determine the risks and opportunities that need to be addressed to give assurance that the energy management system can achieve its intended outcome, including energy performance improvement. Subclause also states that the organization must determine the risks and opportunities that need to be addressed to prevent or reduce undesired effects and to achieve continual improvement of the energy management system and energy performance. It is also recommended in this subclause 6.1.1 as a note to refer a concept diagram illustrating the energy planning process as shown in figure A.2. Coming to the subclause 6.1.2 now. Subclause 6.1.2 of the standard states that the organization must plan actions to address these risks and opportunities. Clause also specifies that organization must also plan actions to address how to integrate and implement the actions into its energy management system and energy performance processes and also how to evaluate the effectiveness of these actions. Let's talk about subclause 6.2 objectives, energy targets and planning to achieve them. Standard through its subclause 6.2.1 states that the organization must establish objectives at relevant functions and levels. The organization must establish energy targets to meet the requirements of the ISO 50001-2018. The subclause 6.2.2 says that the objectives and energy targets must be consistent with the energy policy. The details about energy policy can be found under subclause 5.2 of the standard. As per clause 6.2.2, if practicable, the objectives and energy targets must be measurable and must take the applicable requirements into account. It must also consider significant energy use, SEUs, the details of which are described in subclause 6.3 of this standard. The subclause 6.2.2 specifies that the objectives and energy targets must take opportunities to improve energy performance into account. It is recommended here to refer to subclause 6.3 of this standard to get more information about opportunities. The clause also states that the objectives and energy targets must be monitored, communicated and updated as appropriate. Coming to the mandatory documentation requirements under this clause. This subclause 6.2.2 specifies that the organization must retain documented information on the objectives and energy targets. Let me suggest you here to refer to subclause 7.5 of the standard to get more information about the documented information. Now, let's discuss the subclause 6.2.3 of ISO 50001-2018. This subclause 6.2.3 states that when planning how to achieve its objectives and energy targets, the organization must establish and maintain action plans including what will be done, what resources will be required, 
who will be responsible, when will it be completed, and how the results will be evaluated, including the method or methods used to verify energy performance improvement. To get more information about energy performance improvement, you are recommended to refer to subclause 9.1 of the standard. Further, the subclause 6.2.3 states that the organization must consider how the actions could be integrated into the organization's business processes to achieve its objectives and energy targets. Coming to mandatory documentation requirements under this subclause, the subclause 6.2.3 clearly states that the organization must retain documented information on action plans. Lastly, the clause recommends referring to subclause 7.5 for detailed information about documented information. Let me now discuss the subclause 6.3 Energy Review. The subclause 6.3 Energy Review of ISO 50001 2018 specifies that the organization must develop and conduct an energy review. As per this clause, to develop the energy review, the organization must analyze energy use and consumption based on measurement and other data, that is, identifying current types of energy and evaluating past and current energy use and consumption. It is recommended here in this clause to refer to subclause 3.5.1 for more information about the energy types. According to Clause 6.3, organization must analyze energy and consumption based on the analysis, identifying significant energy use, SEUs. To get more information about the SEU, the standard suggests here there in this clause 6.3 to refer to subclause 3.5.6 of the standard. The subclause 6.3 specifies that to develop the energy review, the organization for each SEU must determine relevant variables and current energy performance. For each SEU, organization must identify the person doing work under its control that influence or affect the SEUs while developing the energy review. The clause states that to develop the energy review, the organization must determine and prioritize opportunities for improving energy performance and must estimate future energy use and energy consumption. Clause 6.3 of ISO 50001-2018 says that the energy review must be updated by organization at defined intervals. Apart from this, the energy review must be updated in response to major changes in facilities, equipment, systems, or energy using processes. Finally, the clause states that the organization must maintain the methods and criteria used to develop the energy review as documented information. It is also stated under this subclause 6.3 that organization must retain documented information of its results as well. Friends, Till now, it was about the subclause 6.3, and now let's discuss about the subclause 6.4 energy performance indicators. The subclause 6.4 states that the organization must determine energy performance indicators that are appropriate for measuring and monitoring its energy performance and also enable the organization to demonstrate energy performance improvement. The clause 6.4 specifies that the method for determining and updating the energy performance indicators must be maintained as documented information. The organization must consider that data which is indicating that relevant variables significantly affect energy performance to establish appropriate energy performance indicators. The subclause 6.4 states that the energy performance indicators values must be reviewed and compared to their respective energy baselines as appropriate. Further, covering the mandatory documentation requirements, 
the sub clause 6.4 says that the organization must retain documented information of energy performance indicator values it is also mentioned in this sub clause to refer to sub clause 7.5 for more information about documented information let's talk about sub clause 6.5 energy baseline the sub clause 6.5 energy baseline of iso 50001-2018 states that the organization must establish an energy baseline using the information from the energy reviews, taking into account a suitable period of time. For more information about energy review, the clause 6.5 here recommends to refer to sub clause 6.3 of standard. Sub clause 6.5 specifies that where the organization has data indicating that relevant variables significantly affect energy performance, the organization must carry out normalization of the energy performance indicator value and corresponding energy baselines. This clause states as a note that depending on the nature of the activities, normalization can be a simple adjustment or a more complex procedure. As per subclause, 6.5 of ISO 50001-2018, organization must revise the energy baselines in the case of energy performance indicators no longer reflect the organization's energy performance. The organization must revise the energy baselines in case of any major changes to the static factors. Subclause 6.5 also states that organization must revise the energy baselines according to a predetermined method. Coming to the mandatory documentation requirements, under this clause, subclause 6.5 states that the organization must retain information of energy baselines, relevant variable data and modifications to energy baselines as documented information. Now let's discuss the subclause 6.6 planning for collection of energy data. According to the subclause 6.6 of ISO 50001-2018, the organization must ensure that key characteristics of its operations affecting energy performance are identified, measured, monitored, and analyzed at planned intervals. The organization must define and implement an energy data collection plan appropriate to its size, its complexity, its resources and its measurement, and monitoring equipment. As per subclause 6.6, the plan must specify the data necessary to monitor the key characteristics and state how and at what frequency the data shall be collected and retained. Clause 6.6 states that data to be collected or acquired by measurement as applicable and retained documented information must include the relevant variables for significant energy use or SEU in short, energy consumption related to SEUs and to the organization, operational criteria related to SEUs, static factors if applicable and the data specified in action plans. As per this subclause 6.6, the energy data collection plan must be reviewed at defined intervals and updated as appropriate. Clause 6.6 further specifies that the organization must ensure that the equipment used for measurement of key characteristics provide data which are accurate and repeatable. The organization must retain documented information on measurement, monitoring, and other means of establishing accuracy and repeatability to meet the requirements of the standard. Friends, till now it was all about the Clause 6, Planning of ISO 50001-2018. I sincerely thank you for your interest and attention. Thanks and best wishes.